In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the newest features of Swarm, container rescheduling. Over here in VirtualBox, you can see I'm running three virtual machines, and they make up my Swarm cluster. If I come over here and take a look at the uh, logs for my Swarm Manager, you can see I have two nodes, Agent 1 and Agent 2, registered in the cluster. So I'm going to head over, and on the Swarm cluster, I'm going to go ahead and run a container, but I'm going to tell it to reschedule that container using an environment variable um, on node failure. So dash E, reschedule on node failure. And we're just going to run busybox with the top command. So the container's up and running. Now I'm going to go over here, take a look, and see what uh, node it's running on. It's running on agent 1. So if I come over here uh, in VirtualBox, and I'm going to select agent 1, and I'm just going to power it off. I'm going to force a failure. So I'll come in here and say power off, and that's just like crashing the server. So not a graceful shutdown. Now, what happens next is there's a heartbeat, and this could take anywhere from a few seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on how it's configured, but eventually what's gonna happen is Swarm is gonna see that that node has gone down, and it's gonna reschedule the container. So if we look at the logs, we can see here where Swarm has detected the agent one has crashed, and, that it's, and then has rescheduled the container. So if I head back over to the Swarm cluster, and I do a Docker PS, what you're going to see is that that container is now running on Agent 2.